Hey guys, it's Melanie. Welcome back. I hope your day's off to a fantastic start. So we are finishing up my little three-part uh, summer skincare series here on my channel today. I am going to be sharing the skincare devices that I'm going to be using over the course of this summer. Um, really, this is probably the least amount of devices that I've used in a while. <laughs> I am someone who I, I love at home devices. I think you can certainly um, get to a great place with your skin. Um, you know, the tone, the texture, the laxity in your skin, helping with uh, producing more collagen. I think you can do all of those things at home. Um, you can certainly do all of those things with in-office procedures as well. Um, I will say it is very important to know yourself before you start getting into purchasing at-home devices. This intro is going to be a little bit longer because I do really want to talk about that um, here in the beginning before we get into the actual devices. Oh, I really do think that there are some people who are great candidates for splurging on this at-home device stuff, and I think there are people who um, might be better candidates for just saving their money and potentially doing an in-office procedure, whether that is a Morpheus treatment or some kind of laser treatment or um, whatever floats your boat, right? Like whatever your problem is, there is an in-office procedure for it. In-office procedures are fantastic because one, the results are usually a little bit quicker. Um, there is the downside of having um, you know, some recovery time, depending on what it is that you're doing. Whereas I find with at home, it's the recovery time is usually not a necessity. I don't know. I don't. I have never used anything that has made my skin like react super badly. So I'm not saying that there isn't something out there that could you know like hurt you in terms of at home devices. But I think they're usually pretty safe, right? Like these are mostly very well researched devices. Um, pick your devices carefully. Uh, make sure you know where you're ordering them from, and don't always go for like the least expensive knockoff stuff. Um, yeah, I just, there's a whole world of that. I mean, I have companies, you guys, I have companies contacting me all the time, almost daily, uh, offering to send me different skincare devices. And the vast majority, like once I look into them a little bit more, I'm just like, what, it, what is, what is this? <laughs> you don't have any like information about this device, like how it works, um, what the pros and cons are. Like, uh, I don't know. A lot of that stuff, I'm just like, uh, thanks, but no thanks. So um, yeah, the devices that I use are definitely ones that I really swear by and that are very easy for me to use. But again, if you're someone who wants fast results, an in-office procedure might be a better bet for you. Now, I did get crap from one of my subscribers, like, I think it was like last year or something. I did a similar video where I shared, you know, my thoughts on at-home devices versus in-office procedures. And um, this person felt like I said that, you know, like the only way to really um, see any results is to have in-office procedures. I don't think that's the case. I think you're gonna see faster, maybe more dramatic results from um, in-office but that doesn't mean that you can't do wonderful things at home if, let's go through the ifs, <laughs> if you are patient, if you uh, are consistent, if you know that you are going to do the long-term maintenance that it's going to take to maintain the results of an at-home device, then this might be the perfect route for you. Like I said, there's very little downtime, if any, and um, a lot of these devices, I guess, can uh, cost less. <laughs> I feel like they probably, a lot of them cost less than even one in-office procedure would. But, um, you know, you just kind of have to know yourself, and this is the thing that I really want to stress. If you are someone who is not consistent, you just don't think you want to keep up with it. You are always sort of into buying the latest and greatest gadget. Um, and you tend to kind of think to push things to the side when you're over them. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't bother with, with at home devices. I think that maybe for someone like that, an in-off procedure might be a better route for them. Um, 
I mean, depending on how many devices you purchase, it might be the same cost as, you know, one in office procedure, which might allow you to get results that last uh, six months, a year or two years, depending on what it is. So um, this is the big thing that I wanted to stress before getting into my devices here is if you do not have the commitment for them, don't bother. Um, just because I, I think that's just money out of your pocket that you don't need to spend, right? Like we all know ourselves. I, some of us are not as honest with ourselves maybe as we should be, but I think it's important to have some honesty with yourself with regard to this stuff because like I said, these are expensive devices. Like don't buy any of the stuff that I'm recommending here if you're if you're not gonna use them long term. I just, I don't know. I just think you could put your money towards something else, you know, like whatever else floats your boat. Like you don't need any of this. And this is all frivolous. This is all extra. None of this is a necessity. So now that I have gotten all those disclaimers out of the way let's get into it um we're gonna start with my oldest device that i am still using to this day and it is my beloved clarisonic i know some of you are cringing and some of you are like dude that's discontinued i know um here's the great thing though uh, i have a couple of these devices and i have a lot of brush heads and um they're rechargeable so mine's still working still using her i'm currently using the radiance brush head by the way if you have this device and you are looking for brush heads, they're still available. I will link where you can get the legit Clarisonic brush heads in the description box down below. Um, this particular company uh, maintains a partnership with Clarisonic somehow. Um, I would not recommend using um, the like fake replacement brush heads. Guys, I did that once with my Clarisonic. Um, not long after getting my first one, it ruined my device to not use the actual Clarisonic brush heads. I don't recommend it, <laughs> especially since this thing is a lot harder to find these days. Um, I'm just, I'm just warning you. Okay, just stick with the real thing. The Clarisonic is uh, what I will use every single evening after my first cleanse with my Pharmacy Green Clean. Um, I use this with whatever cleanser floats my boat at the time and I lightly go over my skin. I do not scrub my skin. I do not brush it. I just let the device do its job, right? Like it runs its little cycle and then um, I'm done. I love this thing. It gets deep into my pores. It's fantastic. Um, I'm sad that the company's no longer around. Real kind of bums me out. <laughs> you can still get them, but yeah, Clarisonic itself is, is now a defunct company. So ugh, that was devastating for me. Now, I do have a Foreo. Uh, this is the Go, Go 4, Go Mini 4. I, does it say on here? Yes, uh, the Luna 4 Go. There we go. <laughs> this is the Luna 4 Go. Now, I will use this in the shower in the mornings sometimes, but actually, I use this one more so when I'm traveling. So when I went to go visit Lisa in Idaho a few weeks ago, I took this. This is obviously much more travel friendly than this is. Um, this one has silicone bristles that are... S oh, you're going to focus? Focus, little friend. Oh, there we go. You see those little silicone knobs there? These are great at um, just getting a little bit deeper into your pores with your cleanser that Sonic Action helps, you know, to clean the pores. And um, I like it. I, I just, there is nothing that has quite outdone the Clarisonic for me yet, but this is the very close second that I have managed to find. Once all of my brush heads are gone, um, once this dies, once it's had its last charge, um, I will just use this. I'll probably purchase a larger one just to have at home because um, I think it'd be a little bit easier, but this is fantastic for travel. So this is a great device. If you've never tried it and you're in the market, it's a good one. Um, I really think that for me with having enlarged pores, with having an oily skin type, um, I think all this stuff matters. Uh, these just do a much better job of getting my skin clean than just me like, you know, massaging the cleanser into my skin, which I used to do in the past. Like that was like up until 2011, all I ever used to really clean my face was the pads on my fingers. Wasn't it, 
didn't do it for me. I I did not wash my face long enough. What I love about these is they all have a timer. So I'm washing my face for the recommended amount of time. I'm getting everything off. Um, these don't irritate my skin. I think they're great. I am a huge, uh, I'm a huge uh, facial cleansing device person. <laughs> device number two. Um, kind of going in order of application here, I guess you could say. I am still using my beloved Droplet. Now, I don't use any of their formulations other than the collagen formula. Um, originally, Droplet sent me this device um, to be able to test out, and I have maintained the monthly subscription uh, myself for a very long time. Uh, I was doing the I think it was like the 14 count. Um, and then I decided to go back to the 28 count. Um, I am not using this every single day of the week. For the longest time, I was using it every day of the week, right? Like I would basically go through a box of capsules a month, the collagen capsules per month. I am now using it every other or, I, I typically don't make it a third day. I, I have to admit, I love this thing. This mist that this provides basically shoots that collagen formula way deeper into the skin than um, any other topical treatments that I apply with my hands. And um, I really do believe that. I see the difference in my skin on the days where I'm using the collagen formula versus not. This provides, the collagen specifically, provides a beautiful surge of hydration. It's lightweight moisture for my skin. And um, I just, I love it. It's one of those devices where it is absolutely not necessary. In fact, out of anything here, this one and this one, which I'll talk about here in a second, are the two where I'm just like, eh, you could probably do without those, but I think they work well for me, right? So anyway, love this thing, still using it. Um, don't have any plans to be without it, so I'm a fan. Um, next, I am going to go ahead and talk about what is probably, with the cleansing devices, my, my most important um, skincare gadget that I will never be without. Like, you won't catch me without this. Um, I have wanted a full body red light panel for a long time. In fact, I, say, I saved the money for it last year. However, there was a little little situation within my family that required those funds to be uh, utilized elsewhere. Don't regret that at all. Absolutely worth, worth doing that. However, it did cause me to have to start over on my savings for the full body panel. Now I do have a, um, like a flexible body option that I shared in a video uh, a couple months ago. I will link that video down below. But for my face, my Mido, panel light. This has red light as well as near infrared. Um, I love this device. I've been using it now for a couple of years and I cannot tell you enough good things about red light therapy. Um, I think it has helped to immensely improve the look of my skin. I think it is slowing down the aging process for me. And like I said in one of my earlier videos this week, I'm not like I'm not one of those like super hardcore like anti-aging people. I, th I think people can age uh, gracefully, which is what I'm trying to do. Realistically, I'm just trying to slow things down so that my freaking brain can keep up. Like I'm 44, I still like in my head, in my reality, I still can't believe that I'm older than like 25. I just, that blows my mind. It's been a lot of years since I've been 25, but I still very much feel that way. And watching my body age, it, it's kind of tough. Like, if you can watch yourself age and you're just like, I'm good with all of it, I think that is amazing. And I wish that I could do that, but my brain is just like, wait, what's happening? We're getting so old. <laughs> I'm just not there yet mentally. Sorry, guys. If you are, well, you're, you're a better person than me. <laughs> is that what you want to hear? Good for you. <laughs> no, but really, like... This here, I think, has been one of the things that I have done super consistently that really helps a more with a more youthful look of my face, my neck, and my decolletage, or my chest area, if you will. I am now using this three days a week, 
typically in the morning. I do use green tea. Um, I shared the Isntree products from their green tea fresh line that I'm using earlier this week. And that helps with some of the like oxidative damage that can happen from red light. Um, kind of helps to offset that. But this is, this has just been fabulous for my skin. And um, I think it helps with the look of my pores. I think it helps with the tone and texture of my skin. I think it helps to improve laxity. And probably even more importantly, I think for me mentally, that red light therapy helps my freaking mood. Um, I am someone who, uh, like I'm starting like that perimenopause stage. There's a lot of fluctuations in my body. Um, I have dealt with uh, depression throughout my life. And uh, at this point, I'm kind of trying to like treat that stuff as naturally as I can. I get a mood boost from this that I think is absolutely worthwhile. I don't even have to do it every single day at this point. When I first started with red light therapy, I was doing it like five days a week. Um, now I'm down to three and it is for uh, like 12 to 15 minute sessions at most. It's really easy. Um, I do it right before I put on my SPF in the morning and I love it. And yeah, I have a discount code for this bad boy. Um, the full body panel that I'm going to be purchasing uh, is from this company. So I can't wait to get it someday. <laughs> Actually, I think I should be able to save for it. Uh, I'm hoping by this next January that I can go ahead and pick up the, the full body treatment. Um, anyway. There are also bulbs that you can purchase as well. I think the panel uh, is very helpful. It covers a large surface area. The bulbs are five watts each. Um, it's quite a powerful device and you don't need to spend as much time with this as you do with like the smaller handheld devices. And the handheld devices are where I started, but anyway, there's that. Um, I am gonna share these last two devices with you here really quickly. The Foreo Bear is uh, what I've been using in place of my Tripolar um, Stop VX as well as my Even Skin Lumo device. Those have a DMA um, option. This is microcurrent. This is much more gentle and I really actually prefer this. And I think it gives me the same results as the other two devices did but it's not nearly as uncomfortable <laughs> and aggressive. I feel like also these have an anti-shock system, which is great. Um, the Tripolar Stop VX and actually the Even Skin Lumo both also have uh, radio frequency. I actually haven't used radio frequency in quite some time and I feel like I feel like my skin's still doing okay, so I probably will get back into using those other two devices just for the radio frequency, but in terms of what is my preferred like modality at this point, it is definitely uh, microcurrent. I've been using the New Face Hydrating Aqua Gel with this. Uh, fabulous. I use this exclusively on my jawline here, as well as here. I do not use it on my forehead. And I use this like three times a week. It's really fast. I'll just use it in the evening. Um, takes me just a couple of minutes to do a treatment session and then I'm done. And maintaining the results is really easy with this. So I like it. I think it's great. If you are in the market for a microcurrent device, this is really the only microcurrent that I've used and I, I love it. I don't. I've gotten offers to be sent to other microcurrent devices, but I just, I don't really see the purpose because I love this. So I'm gonna keep using it. This is super extra, you don't need this, but I have it and I have masks because I usually buy them when I see them on sale. This is the Foreo UFO. This is a masking device, I guess you could say. You basically just get the Foreo masks and you take them out of their little package and you put that little round circle over here. You lock it in place with this little ring and then you have an app on your phone. We love us an app, don't we? Um, and then you just basically pick what mask you're using. The program is built in to the app. It connects pairs with your device and then it walks you through the treatment session. It's fast, it's easy. I like a lot of the masks. I think they're great, but do I think this is necessary? No, you could also just use a regular sheet mask and a, uh, you know, like a 
cooling roller or you can warm up one of those rollers and do like a warming treatment on your face you you don't need like a two three hundred dollar device for that but i happen to have this on hand and i figure gosh if i have it i might as well use it right so and that's it those are the devices that i am currently focusing on using i think they give me great results and i'm a big fan so let me know what your favorite device is in the comments down below. You can check the description box for information on where to find any of these things. Um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Thank you guys for being here. Give this video a big fat thumbs up and subscribe if you're new and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Toodaloo.